Normally, this is one of the more exciting videos I get to release in the month. It's the day after a season pass card releases, and season pass cards are a lot more accessible than the Direct to Series 5 cards, so anything that I could build or brood that seems reasonable and sweet with the new card is something I'm always excited to share. That being said, despite the fact that some potential nerfs for Silver Surfer and Zabu were data mined, the season rolled over without any changes happening, and Surfer and Zabu and the other things that are still pushed are pushed. And Modok, while it's a neat card, and it seems like there's some interesting things we can build around it, the things that we're building around it seem far less consistent and less powerful than the other existing things that Second Dinner has acknowledged need to be adjusted. I could have chosen to cherry pick a handful of games from the few hours I've spent playing with Modoc and make something look like it was more reasonable than it is. Anything can look good in an edited YouTube video like this, but it really didn't sit right with me making that as a recommendation to people, so I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to link in the video description down below the entire archive of the stream that I did last night that has a few hours of gameplay with Modoc, so you can kind of see for yourself the struggles of it if you want in the current metagame. But uh, until Zabu and Surfer get adjusted, I am skeptical that this card can be truly competitive. Uh, maybe someone else is going to break something that I don't see. And I'll be interested to check out if someone else posts something with a strong claim. I'm definitely interested in looking at it. But as is, it honestly just feels like Modak is pretty DOA. It's a little disappointing that balance changes haven't happened yet. Hopefully they're going to happen early this week. They've acknowledged that they need to happen, but we're still being real slow on the implementation, and it's just kind of a drag at this point. One uh, gameplay tidbit slash thing I learned about Modoc that I think is important for people at home to know that has to do with the discard collector variation that I was pretty excited to try is that Modoc doesn't discard the entirety of your hand at the same time. It discards your cards from left to right, and if you're asking yourself, Jeff, why does that matter? Let's watch this video clip and then I'll explain what happened. So Modoc is about to flip up in this video clip while I have seven cards in my hand. See, laser beams through my hand, swarm gets discarded, helicarrier gets discarded, and then I end up with one swarm and one card from helicarrier. So when Modoc discards my hand, it discards from left to right. He discards just the swarm to start and then the game goes, oh, I need to generate two swarms, but Jeff already has six cards in his hand and the hand size limit is seven, so he gets one swarm. And then it discards Helicarrier and says, oh, I need to generate three cards. Oh, but Jeff's hand has six cards in it. I can only generate one card. And then it discards the other five cards out of my hand. So the expected behavior here when I made this play was that I would end with two swarms and then three cards from Helicarrier. And instead I got one swarm and one card from Helicarrier and a very disappointing lesson in how Modoc discards my hand in its entirety. I'm not sure if this is by design or if it's an oversight. It feels like if this is by design and they were hoping to like rein in the power level of what's going on here, it feels pretty unnecessary based on the baseline power level, but it caught me off guard. So I wanted to share it with you all at home so it doesn't catch you off guard, hopefully, if you're trying something like this on your own time. I'm going to keep trying to figure this Modoc thing out while costing myself cubes tomorrow when I fire my stream back up, but I just wanted to post a little thing here with some early thoughts and impressions on the card, even if it's not accompanied with strict gameplay because I just didn't really have any I was happy to share. And I know a lot of people expect gameplay here every day, so I just kind of wanted to give an update on that and thoughts and feelings on this card that I know a lot of people are hoping to do something with. So fingers crossed. I'll figure something out here soon or second dinner will finally give us a meaningful balance changes or someone else will figure something out that we can give a try. But if you found any success with Modak, I would love to hear about it in the comments of this video to give me that little spark or idea to try something. Eh. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow with something sweeter.